Okay. Okay, boys. What? Are you ready to see the special surprise I got at the store today? Yeah. I think you're gonna be super pumped. What? Ready? Uh -huh. Okay, close your eyes. Okay? And keep them nice and tight closed. Nice and tight closed. And then you have to tell me, you have to say, Dad, I love you a bunch. <laughs> hold on. Give me that. <laughs> okay. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Stand up. Stand up. Oh my goodness. He's excited. Give me that. <laughs> This is the Batman 76119, the Batmobile. Not the huge one, with a billion pieces and it costs Goo Goo Plex dollars. <laughs> but it's still a really cool set. Comes with the Joker, comes with Batman, oh! comes with a whoopee cushion. And it farted. <laughs> you guys gonna build it today? Yeah. Yes, Amy's up. I want these. Boom, Amy's off again. So I decided today would probably be a good day to get outside and do a little work getting my grill ready. So that's what I had planned to do before the boys and I started to work on this Lego Batman set. However, I ran into a problem. Here's my grill and what I was hoping to do was clean it except I open it up and this is what I find. And you can see obviously it needs some work, it needs some paint done to it and everything. But here's what I find, a little bird's nest with the eggs still inside it. I don't wanna mess with it too much, but you can see it, there you go, you can see them down in there. Check that out. There's four eggs in there and then I just realized there's another egg down inside the grill. But you can see right down in there. There it is, see it? That one, I'm gonna assume, is not made it. These ones might still be okay. The question is, what do I do? Because I'm pretty sure if I move it, the parents will abandon it, so I can't do that. I don't know if maybe I could move it from here down inside the bottom there, if they would still be able to find it, but then I would still be able to clean my grill. I have no idea. All right, we're gonna get started on our Lego set because I can't clean my grill. I haven't figured out how to solve the issue with the birds yet. <laughs> Jeffrey um, wants to bring them in the house and raise them, hatch them and then raise them as pets. Um, I may wanna, maybe. I wanna chuck them off the edge. Rocky just wants to chuck them off the edge. That's terrible, Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> so instead, we're gonna get to our Lego set. This is the one we're working on today, 76119 Batmobile. Hold on, hold on. What's it called? Batmobile Pursuit of the Joker. And in order to do that, well, one, we'll have to get it back from Rocky, who's got a death grip on it. And we're also gonna need our unboxing knife. Let's get into it. So, well, we finally got Rocky to let go of it. This looks like it's gonna be a really fun set. It's got some stud shooters. I love, hold on. Well, we did let Rock get Rocky to let go of it, and now he's got a hold of it again. How are we gonna build it if you can't let go? I'm gonna uh, open it. And let's take a look at it. Cool uh, spinning fire thing in the back. This no, clips up to show the engine. Like it's gonna be nice. Yeah, let's just build it. We'll build it, and then we'll talk about it. Cause it's way better to look at, uh, to look set. at the set. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, let's get it open. Set. There's one piece of tape. There's two pieces of tape. And opening. Here's somebody dumping out all the pieces. Why won't it open? Why won't they come out? <laughs> Ready? Yeah. There. Now it goes one. There we go. Hey, that sure. manual is in perfect condition. Check that out. Five, we got lucky on that one. Two. Looks and like one takes, smashing. Takes three bags. No, uh, let's see, that's that's bag number three. We'll, we'll hold on to that one. That's bag number two, you get to build the Joker. We start off with bag number one. Now, I gotta be honest with you. Is it just me, or is this bag a little excessive for the amount of pieces that's actually in it? It's like one of those potato chip bags where you buy a big bag and you get this much chips, this many. That's kind of what this bag is reminding me of. I mean, I can actually rip it clear down here. 
And then dump the pieces out. A little overkill, Lego. While Jeffrey works on the car, he's just getting started on that. Just flipped another page. Rocky has finished our Batman minifigure, which is really cool. Although, it's interesting. Most of the Batman minifigures, at least that I've had so far, are in all black. This guy's got an awful lot of gray for someone who loves black. <laughs> but uh, he's still pretty cool looking. It's a bad guy. Yeah. Now, this is the interesting thing. He has an alternate face. Here, you can go ahead and leave that off, actually. He has an alternate face, which is really not that much different. It's just a slight smirk Ten. or a straight face. So I'm not really sure what the what the point of the alternate face was. Maybe a little overkill, I don't know. Love the cape, though. It's that new cloth material that really flows well. It's not as stiff as the old capes used to be. While Jeffrey is still working on the car, um, we figured since we showed you Batman, we can skip ahead a little bit too for something for us to do while he's working. We're gonna open up bag number two just to get the Joker put together. We'll leave the actual car pieces off to the side until we're ready for them, but we wanna, we can't no, wait to put the Joker build, together. I wanna build a one, one half of a car too. Oh, we will, but we can't build that until he's done because some of this will have to go on top of some of that, which needs to go on top of that and it's not done yet. So let's just work on the Joker. Sound good? Let's work on the Joker. Yeah, we'll work on him. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and say that's gotta be an exclusive hair piece. Maybe not exclusive to this set, but definitely exclusive to the Joker, right? I mean, who else would have green hair like that? Very cool piece. All right, Rock, you can do it. You can put them together. Well, bye, guys. Well, Rocky's about to switch over and take Jeffrey's place to start working on the car, but he did just finish the Joker. This guy looks awesome. He's kind of a, um, I assume this is the Jack Nicholson version. Nicholas Nicholson. I can never remember the difference between the golf. I think it's a golfer and the actor. Anyways, whichever one's the actor. His version of the Joker. <laughs> I can't remember. Anyways, he's a really cool looking Joker, I think, that will go well with our Batman. I always like taking a look at building techniques that I wouldn't think of myself. And uh, I've always found them fascinating. I love how Lego does some of this. This is fun to build, these little um, details that'll be the bottom like rails along the sides of the car. This is gonna be the engine in the back. You've got two gun pieces there that are stuck in at angles. And then this mechanism here means that when the back tires turn, this rear engine piece will turn back and forth, if you can see that. And that is what will cause the flame that sticks out the end to spin around. Really cool design. And it's, I mean, it's not that difficult, but I don't know, for me, I would never think of it myself. Rocky's almost done with bag number three. He's working on some side details using these little uh, round pieces that have like grooves in them. There we go. But I thought I'd update you while he's building those on how this car is coming along. We've got some cool detail here with the engine and the way that works, the engine will spin around as these wheels turn and uh, some pretty cool detailing especially here on the front love those headlights this thing is bigger than i thought it was going to be and then that i'm not sure if that's an exclusive print piece or not but um i've never seen it in anything before so it's at least a newer piece if it's not exclusive to this set one thing i will say about this set it's not that expensive i think it's going to turn out to be a really nice little piece and it's actually really fun to build i've really enjoyed working on it the boys have too it turns out to be a really fun piece to put together. So if you're looking for a set that kids will enjoy, or adults really, uh, this is a pretty nice little set and you don't have to spend the outrageous amount of money that it would cost to build the huge UCS version of this car. Uh, the Although, one that cost I will be honest, uh, uh, Google Plus dollars. Yeah, it, it basically cost Google Plus dollars. Yeah. And we, can't, we might not be able to do any videos. I know, we broke our tripod, oh no. Um, I will be honest, this little car has actually made me kind of interested in getting the huge one. And I wasn't interested in that at all until I built this. And I'm like, man, this one's so much fun and it's going to look so good. 
I might actually be interested in the big one. Jeffrey is creating some sort of Batman Joker mutation. And we know how to fix this With a now. double head. We can fix this. Yep, and we fixed our tripod, which is good. This guy, I will say, this Joker head, let's ignore the fact that, you know, we've got this mutation here going on. <laughs> just the head of the Joker. If you take it off of the Joker and have just the head, that looks like the most hideous, strange lady you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> I would not want to get, be stuck in a room with that lady because she's weird. See how it's coming along, Rocky? Looks pretty good, huh? There's Rocky's reaction if you want to see it. He just can't stop hopping up and down. And... I love it! Shh, the baby's sleeping. Quiet. <laughs> We're going to keep working on it, but it's almost done. Ooh. While Rocky puts on these awesome car tires, uh, which these things are amazing looking. While he's putting those on and putting the finishing touches on the car, I will quickly show you the extras because in this set, you get a ton of extras. In fact, you get an entire little, like one of these perforated hole filled bags full of shiny Batman pieces that don't even go to this car, all so that you can just get that one piece. They don't ship that piece separately, apparently. So you get all of these extra pieces, including an extra one of the hoods, including these two things, these silver batarangs. You get all of that extra just so they could give you the part for the hood of the car. That is um, pretty cool. There you go. There's a couple more extra ones. Then on top of all that, you still get these extra pieces. You get an extra printed Batman hubcap and uh, an extra batarang and then just an assortment of other random extra pieces. Rocky's going to show you the finished product here. Rock, show him the car. You can see how the flame spins. Those wings are posable on the back, although that's I think that's the position they're supposed to be in, but you can move them around if you wanted to. That thing is awesome. You want to roll it, Jeffrey? This hood piece here flips up so you can see some turbines inside. No, these. I love those details there, and there's a stud shooter there. Shoot it, Rocky. I'll shoot both of them. <laughs> shoot this one right here. No. Shoot it right at the camera. I'm shooting both. Boom! <laughs> I think this thing deserves our very first, maybe not our very first, but one of our very few JR Brick Builders slow motion moments. All right, Jeffrey, what do you say? Yeah, and if they haven't subscribed yet, should they do that? Yep. Yeah. And if they liked the video, should they leave a thumbs up on it? Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll have more Lego on the way go. very soon.